What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Evil Rabbit here on Project Cars 2. But unfortunately, there is some issues with Project Cars 2 and the Logitech G920. If you take a look at my wheel, if you notice if I hold it right here, it starts twitching. As well as right here, it starts twitching. So, I'm just going to show you guys something real quick because I have been have been in contact with, you know, the game developers and, you know, you know, slightly mad studios and everything trying to figure this out so if i do this and i have 31 opponents same class and i were to start the race once we load in if you come to a stop the logitech g920 start clipping really badly i'll show you guys what i'm talking about but like if you hold it very gently you see how it's twitching that's not me So I've been going on the forums back and forth, messaging, you know, the people from Southern Mass Studios and everything on those lines, and I think they're trying to come up with a fix with it. Um, but I'm here. I'm gonna try a couple different things to see about how to get it not to clip, so it's somewhat playable right now. Because there's been a lot of people, you know, posting videos with the same issues on their G920s and their Thrustmasters and stuff on those lines. So it's not just the Logitech. It's also Thrustmasters that are having the issue as well. So I'm going to show you what happens when you hop into a race here. In a race. Now, if you notice, my wheel becomes pretty dead. And it will automatically just turn itself. Now, whether that is normal or whatnot, but if I go drive... Apparently my change gear. So I need to switch my controls around for my change view button. But once it gets us into where we have control of the car and I come to a stop, I want you to take a look at what happens. Warm this thing up and see what you can do. So I'm completely stopped and my wheel is tweaking out. Now I'm going to show you what happens when you start trying to drive, actually. See, take a look at this. Like, no car... Whatever... Like, you can hear it just clicking in my hand when I'm slowed. But it's only in straight line or coming to a stop. If you're turning, it's okay. So, like, it's okay now. It's okay now. In a straight line. It, it starts moving, as you can see, it starts moving back and forth. You can hear it clicking. But when I'm turning, it's okay. As soon as I start driving, like, look at this. Like, no car would ever do that in real life. Now, also, when I come to a stop, like, the car shouldn't be doing that. Now, I understand, you know, the feedback is real, realistic feedback and stuff on those lines, but... Trying to go in a straight line, the car should not do that. Now I'm going to hold it straight, and you can hear it just clicking and twitching in my hand. Like, that's going to cause some serious wear and tear on the wheels. But now when I start turning, it's okay. So you constantly have to be, like, in a turn. Like, that is very bad. You can just hear my wheel clicking. Now watch. Coming to a straight. Like. That. That. You hear it? That. That's not. Like I shouldn't have to grip the wheel that hard. On any car. But it'll work going through turns. As long as I'm turning slightly. But now, now you can see it. Starting to click again. There you go. Like that is probably. Like really bad I mean you could probably hear it and you can see it twitching in my hand it's almost impossible to keep the car straight because it's constantly see like the car's bobbing the wheel back and forth because it's constantly inputting the wheel back and forth so making it very twitchy 
But see right here, since I'm in full turn, it's okay. Full turn, it's a little bit of turn, it's okay. As soon as I get into a straight section where I'm not turning, it starts switching again. And I was so looking forward to racing this car, but when I was doing some research, see, see how much it's twitching? No. So that's kind of a letdown so far here on Project Cars 2, but so now I'm going to test something out for you guys because I have a couple people that uh, have been posting uh, wheel setting setups and stuff on those lines. So I'm going to try a couple of those, but I'm also going to try something else because some people did say that it was only when you were in like a quick race with other like drivers. So we're going to go back into cars here and this car list is sub so substantial. I just can't wait till we can actually, you know play I don't know what happened there we're gonna go to BMW we're gonna get the same car and we're gonna pretty much do the same things we were just doing but in a private tuning session so we're gonna go to back to Daytona where'd you go there you go Daytona event clear weather slots custom date blah 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 safe so we're going to see if it actually does it on a private session where there is no other AI. Because some people were saying that it was only with AI cars that the wheel would start clipping like that. But I don't know if that's entirely true because if I hold the wheel like this, it just starts clipping. I mean, I don't know if you can see it that well, but you can check it right here with that. It's There you go. You can really see the clip. You can see my spoke twisting. That's not me doing that. And then we get stupid light when it's loading. So I'm gonna try and keep it centered. But see now the wheel's really light because I don't know if I glitched the feedback. So now we're in a private tuning session. Wheel feels a little bit better. It doesn't really have that clipping issue when you're holding the wheel on those things. So now we're in a private session. Let's see if it does the same thing. Here at Daytona, same car. So this is pretty much just an identical test, just with no AI. Just go steady until the tires and brakes get a chance to warm up. Still has some clipping. But I don't know if it's as bad. Yeah, no, I think it's still there. Yep, it's still there. You can hear it. So that... So it's not... Something that has to do with the AI cars, but it's not as bad. It's really nowhere near as bad. Like, actually, it's pretty much gone. So, that clipping issue is very faint now without AI cars. As you can see, I'm actually kind of able to make a, you know, straight line run. So we'll see how this works going through, like, the backstretch. I can somewhat keep a straight line, too. So I am noticing that, it, that, that clipping issue or that jerking of the wheel is a lot worse in, like, a quick race environment. Yeah, see, it's not as bad on this bank. I mean, there's still a little bit of tweaking out, but it's not as bad. Am I able to keep it kind of a straight line here? Yeah, see, I can keep a straight line somewhere on the back stride. You can still see twitching me a little bit, but not as bad. So, it was definitely a lot worse in with other AI cars, because now I'm actually able to run and actually uh, drive a little bit. So I'm wondering if it just has to do with AI and there's something not right. Although I'm gonna run this and try and warm up the tires because they did say it was more so, um, it was less when the tires were warmed up. People were thinking that it has something to do with cold tire twitching. 
like it's sending minute twitch or minute feedback from the tires but I gotta find out what my change view is I'm gonna have to edit that because I want to change my view here camera movements GFX off show helmet off helmet depth off look at apex okay because I like to do the helmet view without the helmet so now we got to go to controls and see what my actual change control or change view is we're gonna leave that all there I don't want to change anything so your is down systems off camera cycle okay so we never look back so we're gonna just set that as Y okay all right so now we're back continuing so that's my head view with looking at apex so that's what I wanted so I'm able to make some sort of a lap here it's not as hard but it's still there so it's definitely not a uh, it's definitely not a fix so some people were saying about changing feedback so we're gonna try that here we're gonna use the same car in the same track so it's a pretty much a good test on if it works or not now this car is cool because you don't you don't have to use clutch when shifting because this is a race car so I was like, super excited to find out that this M6 is in the game now I'm getting a chance to actually drive it but not how I really want to because I wanted to drive it in a race but you know we're just trying to see this first go all right so we're gonna go change our settings around a little bit or we can actually just do that here I forgot so we're gonna go into the pits though Ooh, don't lose that we're gonna pit the car and then we're gonna change the wheel settings and come out of the pits Because it should change our tires and give us the cold tires and everything. What the heck happened there? So I probably should have broke a lot more. All right, so let's see what I got for wheel setting wise. So people were saying about adjusting gains, volume, lowering them really far down. Alright, so let's just adjust our feedback right now. People, because I don't want to lower it too much because then it kind of destroys the feel of the game. So, what were the people saying? They were saying go. Jeez, all the way down to 45. 45. Where's dampening? Damper saturation. Damper saturation affects control of the weight of the wheel. So we gotta change that up, but we're gonna have to quit the session to do that. So they were so basically they're modifying the dampening situation in here to help with the limit of that. And then we're gonna turn the tone down 35. Leave FX at 50. I don't think. Oh, so wait, no, here's how they, they did 50 on that, 35 on the volume, 50 on the tone, and 40 on there, and then, then we're going to keep that as that. So now we're going to have to exit the session and restart the session because it did say for that dampening 
saturation we had to exit to change it so now we're gonna go back we're gonna adjust these again because they also have us adjusting steering sensitivity down to 45 dampening saturation to 25 all right and then our force feedback at informative okay so that's what we're going to run this time. We're going to go back into the quick race. But we're going to go into our actual quick race and see if this helps with the clipping in a normal racing situation. If not, we're hope hoping that there will be a uh, a patch here soon from you know the developers because uh, from what I was reading they're really in looking into what's going on cuz it's it's kind of unplayable when it clips that hard and it could potentially break a wheel the how hard it's you know jerking back and forth in the game is like substantially a lot and i don't we don't want to break my rig so so there's some issues that i think need to be addressed and i think they are addressing them um i will keep you guys up to date when i hear more about it just like from uh, the devs of Assata Corsa when I find out more information about right handbrake or right button for handbrake, but right button on this does work for handbrake, so that's a plus side. You know, I did try that out. All right, so we are here. My wheel kind of stayed, so it's gonna drive. It does feel a little bit light, but we'll see if the saturation helps. Take it steady until the tires and All right, so I'm gonna stop. Okay, so there's no clipping. There's no clipping uh, in sitting still. Oh boy. But I can still feel it. And this wheel is so light, it kind of defeats the purpose of having a sim game. Because this wheel is so light, it just. It, it honestly feels like there's no wheel there. And it's still clipping. You can hear it and you can see the wheel jerking in my hand. So that's what I wanted to bring this video to you guys about. So it's not as bad when you're in a, a solo, like a solo run. Now I wonder if it's kind of the same, if it's only with these GT cars. So I'm going to switch all my settings back to default. And then I'm going to test a normal car. Uh and see so i'll be back once i switch everything up okay so we're here in some bmw m1s uh basically reverted all the settings back to stock how i originally started it so i want to see if it's only in just like gt3 cars or if it's in regular cars so we're about to find out oh yeah no you you, you can see how much this is just clipping so it has nothing to do with GT3 cars, regular cars, or anything. So yeah, this is not as bad, I don't think, because it's not a full car. I don't know. But yeah, it's still there. You can still see the wheel twitching myself back and forth. Oops. Locking up brakes doesn't help. Yep. Like. So. Ugh. So. I wanted to bring you guys this video out to show you that I think they are working on this issue. I have been back and forth with Sony Mad Studios. They are trying to fix it. Uh, they're not sure what's going on. They did say that the console testing was off-site and there was a lot more testing on the PC. So if you have a PC, I don't believe you have these problems. I think it's only an Xbox One issue. So I think they're trying, there was talk about a patch coming out here shortly to possibly fix this issue or, you know, if it is even an issue or what, but I mean, to me, this seems like it's an issue. Um, I don't know what you guys think. If you guys are having the same issue with your G920s, comment down in the comment section down below if you find a way to fix it. 
comment that down below let me know because um i would be interested to see what people are doing to try and fix this like a lot of people are dumb dumbing down the force feedback but then it makes the wheel feel super light and that doesn't give you the feel of a simulator so i mean like if i twitch this it'll just twitch back and forth touch it it just click 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 and then the force feedback dies no feedback at all see so and also the wheel is just gonna turn to the right so private session real quick m1 just the comparison test just so you know it's not just like what's going on so you saw how bad the clipping was when we were in a race with other ai so now this is a private session with the m1 daytona same track same weather same everything nothing's been changed it's not no you know tricky play just to say hey this is an issue it's actually an issue all right so m1 Steady on the outlap until you get some temp in those tires and brakes. not really clipping And once again, uh, private session. I'm just gonna tag out, I don't really care. Private session, no AI cars, and I can pretty much drive it without twitching. So it has something to do with when there's AI cars on there. I don't know what the issue is or why. I wonder if we could do game change, game options, driver assist authentic. I don't think we can change. You know what? Let me try one more test for you guys because people were saying it has to do with tires. So I'm going to turn off tire wear and see if maybe that's the issue. Because people were saying it's false readings from the cold tire dynamics and stuff like that. There's been a lot of things going on. Fuel usage real. Start rules penalties. Manual pit stop. It's a manual cooldown. It really starts. Where's tires? Oh, there it is. Tire wear. Ah, oh, it was right above. Tire wear off. So tire wear is off. Damage type. Let's turn uh Let's turn damage off and tire wear off. And let's go back into quick play. And see maybe because now we'll have perfectly warm tires. We won't have damage issues. We won't have a cool up or a warm up period for tires. The last ditch effort. If not, like I said, I will keep you guys up to date when I find more information from Slightly Mad Studios and everything like that. I am vigorously keeping my eyes on the forums to try to find see if any if they post up about a patch or anything on those lines. So G920 is having issues, but it's not just the G920s, it's also Thrustmasters are also having issues. But it's only on the Xbox One from what I know. If you guys are on PC and you're having an issue, comment down in the comment section down below as well, because I think some PC guys are having issues with um, buttons not working. Uh, I believe PS4 is having issues where actual, like, their circle buttons are not working in the menu, you know, wheels not connecting and such. Um, so I'm not sure. I feel like there's just a lot of bugs that are going. See, now my wheel just tripped out all the way to one side. And yeah. All right. So there we go. So we're gonna see because we don't. I don't think we have cold tires because unless we do still have cold tires, even with turning damage and everything off and tire wear off. So we're about to find out. Moment of truth. Let's get these tires and nope, because you still have worn tires. So as you can see, the wheel just twitching, extremely bad and not moving. Don't care. We're gonna go out. The <laughs> traction control. I tried to rip the e-brake for you guys just two seconds, but so since I'm turning, it's okay. As soon as I come to a straight, bet you it'll start clipping. And it almost makes it floaty and impossible to keep a straight line. So like I said, guys, I will keep you guys up to date. You can follow me on Facebook, Twitch, Twitter, and Instagram. All of which are found in the description box below. It's kind of a sad time that they're having these issues. 
but you know hopefully they will get it resolved and uh it'll be resolved quickly and we'll be able to fully enjoy this game that they've produced for us because otherwise other than this issue this game looks amazing so until next time guys like thank you guys for watching i'm evil rabbit and i'm out I've been loving, loving, I'm tipsy cause I've been sipping on Henny I got the study